What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Big Country Customs, coming back at you with another air conditioner video. I have gotten a lot of, I would say hate, but it's not really hate on my previous video, uh, which did very well. So thank everybody for watching that. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down in the description. It's a video of me putting an air conditioner in my shop that does not have any windows. So drilled a hole in a brick, use a chisel, whatever, you'll see. Uh, anyways, so, People are talking about, hey, it's not a very efficient air conditioner and and uh, you should have got the two hose model and did two holes in your brick. Um, people asked a lot of questions. What do you do about the water drain and, and where does all the water go? And uh, people have also made recommendations, which I really, really appreciate. So somebody said, put the insulation tape around the hose and, and see, you know, they said it makes a big difference. So. I, that's what I did. Um, I'll show you guys how I, you know, upgraded this thing. I'm going to show you guys the temperature difference between um, in here and outside right now, just to show you that it actually does work. Um, it is a very, very muggy day today. It has been raining on and off, and I believe the temperature is uh, like, I think it's 79 out right now, which ain't too hot. I'm telling you, it ain't too hot. But in here, it's 70, and I'll show you that it's 70. And it's the end of the day, it's like 7 p.m. So it's been 70 in here all day, I'm not gonna lie. I've come in here, I worked on it, put some stuff on it, and you know, did the upgrades to it today. So it's been 70 all day. It got up to uh, 88 earlier in the day, I believe. At least that's what my truck temperature thing said when I went and bought some stuff at Lowe's. And it was muggy, but it is dry as a bone in here so whew, that's a lot to talk about um let's get to the rest of the video and uh i'll show you guys all i did and and show you the temperature and stuff so let's get to it before this video gets started i just wanted to uh let you guys know that i'll be doing a 1000 subscriber american flag giveaway you can We'll talk about what you want. You can do the 50 stars, uh, thin blue line, thin red line, regular American flag, black and white, however you want it. We'll discuss the details um, once we hit a thousand and I figure out how to choose somebody to give it to. But uh, I plan on maybe, maybe I'm deploying soon so I can't, I might have to catch back up, but I plan on doing a flag uh, every 1,000 subscribers. I can do that. Free shipping to you, you don't pay nothing. I'll get it to your door in two weeks after we hit a thousand. So if I hit a thousand before I deploy, I can't tell you when I'm going to deploy, but that's uh that's a thing I want to do. So let's get to it. Sub, if you want a chance to win this, I really appreciate it. Smash the like button if you enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Okay. The question and the thumbnail to this video is going to be something like, is having an air conditioner like this in your garage slash shop worth it? Is it efficient enough to keep your non-insulated garage cool? Well, let me tell you, and this is for everybody that said negative about this, this unit or putting a unit like this in your garage. Yes, it is very, very worth it. We're coming to the end of the summer. I put this in at the beginning of the summer and it has allowed me to stay in here and work semi comfortably all summer long, even though it'd be a hundred degrees outside. And I don't even have insulation on my garage door yet. Why? Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm going to get to it. But anyways, a few people in the comments talked about insulating this. Now, let me tell you, I just bought this tape and I'll show you what, the, what tape it was, wherever I put the wrapper. I don't know where I put the wrapper, but this is it right here. It's made by 3M. I think it was 60 yards long and it's just like uh, seam insulation. I wrapped this on here today, and before, when it was just a plastic, you could feel heat radiating off of it because this air is hot that goes out of this. But let me tell you, right now, this air, like, I feel hardly nothing radiating off of this tube after I wrapped it in that tape. You can feel the warmth on this, which blows my mind. It's not nearly as hot, but it blows my mind. I can feel the warmth here, but I can't really feel it here. It's pretty wild. So anyways, I feel like this is gonna help this unit a lot coming up. It does get dusty in here, so I clean this off uh, fairly often. I'm thinking about like strapping an air conditioner, you know, like a big 
house filter on. Uh, let's see, the next thing I did was I put in piping today. As you can see, I have a little leak down here I gotta fix. Uh, I think this needs to be tightened up more. Uh, so I'm gonna fix that, but I put in piping. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought as well, exactly what I bought. Uh, I wouldn't have went with an elbow here, but I couldn't find the, the right parts at Lowe's. They didn't have the correct um, fittings in stock. So I just went with some, I think three eighths inch pipe. Anyways, we'll get to the details here in a second. So ended up coming off with an elbow and then this screws into the elbow and it's got the pipe fitting on it. So that works out. Sorry about that. My son was screaming and uh, I had to tell him good night. Uh, so back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and get to all the details on this right now uh, and show you guys exactly what I bought. So for the pipe, I wanted a long one because I had to reach, obviously, all the way to the door. So I got a 25 foot polyurethane tubing. And you can see ID 3 8 inch, OD half inch, 25 foot long. It's really tough stuff. It does bend and kink, but you just gotta watch for that. But it's tough, so I got some bricks sitting on it to keep it flat until it takes shape uh, later on. And I use a lighter to kind of heat it up a little bit to slide it up on that fitting a little better. I might add a pipe clamp if that's where my leak is. For the elbow, uh, this is what it is right here. Made by ProLino half inch by half inch elbow. I don't know if that part number means anything. But I'm sure you can look that up on the Lowe's website if anybody needs to do this. And here's the adapter, 3 8 inch hose to a half inch uh, threaded. So that's what I got and it seems to be working good. I just gotta seal that off. I also bought another thing of flex seal to, to maybe seal it if I needed to. All right, like I said earlier, it's about 78, 79 degrees outside and air conditioner's running. This is not the temperature in here, the 70, it is not. This is what the AC is set to. However, if I put it on dry, that will tell me the temperature in the room and it stayed at 70 degrees. Fact check me if you want, fact check it if you want, all the haters, well, all the people that have an actual good point but don't agree with me doing this and they say it won't work at all, it freaking works. So I'm gonna put it back on cool, it'll start blowing more. Uh, I would normally get up in the morning and start this at like 6 a.m. if I knew I was gonna be out in the shop all day and uh, it would keep it cooler for me during the day. I remember it being um, 78 on a 95 degree day, which is very impressive. And let me tell you, the most important part about that is that the air in here was really dry. That is so important when it comes to heat and how it feels. So it felt 10 times better in here than it did outside. And I've opened my garage door before uh, to go cut grass or something and you can just feel the cold air billowing out of the garage. So I'm telling you right now, this is worth it. No matter what anybody else says, it's worth it. May, may, it may not be the most efficient thing, but it is 100% worth it to cool a shop, to make it workable in here during the heat of the summer. Especially if you live in the northern states where it only gets to like 85, 90 up in Maine or something during the summer and doesn't ever get to 100. This will do you just fine. 100%. I'm deploying very soon and when I'm gone, I'm just going to keep it on dry the whole time and it'll keep all the water or most of the moisture out of the air so it don't mess with any of my wood. And, and mold won't grow in here. My, my table saw won't rust like my bandsaw did. I started removing it, never did finish. But, uh, oh, here's a pretzel. It, it hit the floor and I'm not going to eat it. So that's its resting place for now. Anyways, guys, that about wraps this video up. It... It's so worth it. Like the video, subscribe if you want a chance to win a beautiful American flag or you know, a law enforcement flag, firefighter flag, 
whatever kind of flag you want, I'll build it for you. I'll, I'll ship it to you. Um, you know, to, to that one lucky person. I've never done a giveaway before, so I'm pretty excited about it. So anyways, uh, I'm going to show you my face. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to sneak back in here right before the, the exit where you see my face. Um, when I say it's worth it, um, I'm talking about getting a good unit. Don't buy a $200 air conditioner and expect it to do what this one's doing. I believe this air conditioner was like 600 bucks. It's a 14,000 BTU. Uh, I wouldn't go any less if you were gonna cool a two car garage. If you have a one car garage, small shop, hey, go for the 10,000 BTU cheapo unit that probably would do okay. But for my application, I went with a 14,000 BTU. That's about the biggest I could find that was in my price range for a floor unit and it rips. So to the outro. Here's my face. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, Big Country out.